Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm doing a video about friends, honestly. Some of the things I'm about to list are like what people, people who I'm friends with, the type of aspects they have, and people who I've decided to not be friends with. Like, what are the things that like are like a no-no and some of the things that are like yeah, like, that aren't red flags, basically. Okay, let's begin. Um, well, I'm not saying to be my friend, you, I'm not saying to be my friend, you have to be, like, super nice all the time, or, like, super kind, or super compassionate, super pumped up. Like, honestly, to be my friend, there are certain types of people who I see them and I'm like, I want to be that person's friend. Their personality is just like mine. Like, we'll get along so well. And then there are the people who I just instantly, I see them and I'm like, I don't fuck, I don't want to fuck with you. Like, you're not who, you're not someone I want to be around. And most of these people that I've ended up dropping have treated me like shit, have been, have talked shit about me behind my back have spread lies about me, have hurt my friend, ha hurt my actual best friends, and these type of people are the people that I, I can't associate with myself with. Like, there is this person I met at the beginning of the summer through one of my, one of my mutual friends. One of our mutual friends, I guess you could say. And we've been hanging out all together. We've been doing stuff. We've been going out to eat and stuff like that. We've been hanging out. And the other day, we were, um, I hung out with him, and we went to McDonald's or whatever. And that night, okay, the time we hung out previous to that, him and another, one of my, um, one of my other so-called friends was, was roasting me, and they were getting on my case, and they were calling me all types of names and stuff, and I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Because I'm, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, it didn't really affect me that much, so I'm like, I don't give, really give a fuck. Like, say what the fuck you want, I don't give a fuck. And these days, I've been starting to, like, realize that people, whatever people say, like, people can say whatever the fuck they want, because as long as I care what I think at the end of the day, like, that's all I care about. I don't, I don't care what I think about myself at the end of the day. And the time after that, like, this, pre this recent time, this recent time we hung out, um, we all went to McDonald's, he bought me food, he bought, like, everyone food or whatever. And, thing about it is, every time we hung out before these last two times, I was always the one putting in money to do stuff. He never had money, I was always the one putting in money to do stuff, to be honest. And, it's, it got all, it got all messed up. Like, the other day, he messaged me, and he's all like, oh, well, you know, um... Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to think. I'm t you know what? Hold on. Cause I got this shit on my phone, so I'm like, I'll I'll read it. Let's let's see. Um, uh, he's like, oh, you should take me and our other friend out to eat. The one that we met, the one that we met through. He's like, you should take us out to eat. Um, because I bought food last time, and I was all like, but. You also roasted me. And I was going to finish, like, the statement, but, like, I was in the middle of something, so I couldn't actually finish that statement. I just had to write it, and then I had to put my phone, like, put my phone down for a sec, and then all of a sudden, I come back, and he's all like, wow, okay, I should love your ass star if I knew you were going to be such a dick. And I was all like, but I'm not, though. I just said what happened. I didn't even explain what the fuck. That was not even a complete thought, like... And then he's like, oh, well, don't hang out with me anymore and all this shit. He's all like, oh, well, you know. He's like, oh, I'm so fucking done with you. You're saying you don't, I don't do shit for you, which is not what I said. Like, I didn't even say that. And he's all like, I'm done with your bullshit and I'll go die, you fugly piece of shit. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm reading these messages and I'm like, was this all fucking necessary? Like, you just blew up for no fucking reason. And I try to explain myself. I try to be like, you roasted me. And it hurt. Now, mind you, these last couple of months, I've been actually getting, my confidence has been building up tremendously. And the fact that when they were talking shit, 
I'm sitting there, and they're like, oh, you baby gorilla. Oh, you look, remind me of Bill Cosby. First of all, the whole thing with Bill Cosby, I don't even know what the fuck happened with Bill Cosby, but that shit, shit still hurt. It still hurt. I'm sitting there, I'm like, they're calling me, they're saying I'm Bill Cosby because I'm black. Like, what the fuck? And then his friend, who was driving us around in the first place, is getting in on it. And I'm like, the fuck, I don't even know you, so you can't even really be talking shit. And then him and the other and the other friend that was talking shit about me the last time, they all started doing it again. They got getting on me and getting on me and getting on me. And I'm sitting there and I'm trying not to cry. And it's hard for me to cry. It's hard for me to someone to bring me to that point. And I'm sitting there trying not to cry. And I'm like, I really should just get the fuck out of here. But I'm like, I'm stranded. The buses. I would have took the fucking bus. I don't give a fuck. I would have took the fucking bus home. Only reason I could not is because it's 12 in the morning and the buses ain't running. So I have to wait. I have to, the, guy that's, the guy that doesn't even know me that's coming and roasting me is the guy I have to depend on to drive me home. And I'm sitting there feeling like shit. And I'm like, the fuck I'm feeling like shit for? And then he gonna pull this shit a couple days after he done pulled that shit. And I'm like, okay. Now, okay, now I'm the one who caused me these problems. I'm the one who did this. I did not cause this. Like, you're saying you're my friend. But at the same time, you're over there reacting in this in this whole unnecessary ass way and I bet you and then probably he gonna go tell everyone cause he already told all my shit anyway like if someone says they're your friend and then you have to actually they do something for you and then they expect something in return that's not that's not a friend like that's that's just you're just being taken advantage of and I actually had I actually had a conversation with my um one of my actual good friends today and he was telling me he was like that's someone who's taking advantage of you. And I'm like, you're completely right. And I'm not gonna let that shit happen anymore. Cause I've always been through that. It's it's I've always been like the one taken advantage of. I'm not doing it anymore. I got too much confidence and I'm already going through enough shit and I don't need you to put more shit on me. Why the fuck do our friendship just start and I'm stressing about all the I don't need to be stressing over a friendship that started, like, two months ago. Like, now, if we had known each other before, if we had known each other a longer time, then, yeah, I would want to work it out and see if you, if we could actually, like, be friends again. But if you, if you just came in my life and you pulling all this shit now, I'm like, that just reflects on what you're going to do later. So I'm not going to, no. Cleaning my hands now. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sit there and take all that shit from you and you barely even know me. I'm not going to do it. And all that extra shit, like, I'm a fugly piece of shit. I'm a fugly piece of shit. Oh, okay. I'm fugly, right? Like, but you're the one always saying all, you're the one always putting your business out there and having everyone know all this shit about you. And I'm like, I, I'm like, if you're going to call me a fucking piece of shit, I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, you can say whatever the fuck you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Like, it's your life. Like, you can live it. I'm just going to be in my corner. Per, I'm just be in my corner, like, loving myself and being there for myself. That's all I can, that's all I can do. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to do any, if, I'm not going to apologize and be like, oh, well, we should be friends again. I'm not going to do that shit. If you don't want to be friends with me, then, honestly, that's your loss. I can't say nothing about, no, nothing else but that. Anyways, you guys, sorry for that little rant, but I had to get it off my chest, because whenever, like, that's the second time I had to drop a friend, and first time I had to do it. I was really close to that. I was really close to that person. And she was like a sister to me. And then she started pulling a whole bunch of shit. And then that that put me in the fate. That that put me... I was depressed. I was always... Every time I saw her, I could barely even look at her. I always had to turn... I always, always like just wanted to turn the other direction. Because I'm like, it hurts to see you. Like, you're friends with someone one day. And then they start doing a whole bunch of shit that makes you doubt whether they're your friend or not. And then like... You're feeling like shit, and then they're sitting there acting like they're not affected by this, and it's it's really it really hurts. I'm not gonna lie. 
I was really hurt when my friendship, when that girl that I consider my sister started pulling a whole bunch of shit on me. I felt really bad. And and the thing about it is, I felt really bad, but at the same time, I'm like, you fucked up heavy. Like, I, I was like, I felt bad, and I wanted, and I missed her. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I had to I had to actually protect myself and be there for myself and love myself enough to be like this is not a good relationship. This is not a good this is not a good compatible this we're not compatible. Like this is not this is not this is not supposed to be a um what those science those science phrase where you're like where you're not supposed to be a parasite cuz whenever she would always ask me for food. She would always ask everyone for food. She'd be mooching off for everybody. I remember one time we weren't even talking and this and she asked me for food. So I'm like, oh Javon, can I get a piece of your chicken? I'm like, you haven't talked to me in months and you're asking me for food? Hell no. Hell no. I was like, hell to the fuck no. No. You're not gonna ignore me for months. Ruin this whole entire friendship and then wanna come and ask me for shit. No. It's not gonna work like that, honey boo boo. No. I'm not doing it. And when you have a friend and you really care about that friend, you have to try and make it work. You have to try and actually make the friendship work. You're supposed it's supposed to work. It's supposed to be a give and take relationship. I've had to learn that the hard way because I've been for the past couple years with all my high school friends. I've been like I've been I haven't been taking. I it has been give and take, but my personality has been really bad. And I was really fresh, and I was really, I was so bitchy to all of my friends. And I actually realized that they love me, and I'm not going to treat them like shit. I'm not going to treat someone that actually cares about me, and that actually loves me and cares about me like shit. I'm not going to do that. But all these other, all these other hoes and niggas and bitches out there want to be acting like that's okay, and it's not okay. Friends? People come, friends come and go. But family stays. And I can honestly say, these people that I have right now, they're family. I love them. And I know they will never actually hurt me. They will never hurt me. Well, guys. This has been another rant. And I want you guys to know that I love you all. I love all my viewers and all my fans and all people that like my videos and subscribe. I love all you guys. Even the people that haven't seen these videos yet. When you guys see these videos, I hope you guys love end up loving me too. Well, this has been Javon. And I will be signing off. But I want you guys to know that I wish for peace. I want us all to get along, and if you're fake as shit, and you can't do that, then bye bye bitch, bye bye. And to all you other ones that love and love and give the best love you can, hello bitch, hello. This is Bitch Javon, and I'll be signing off. Love you all. Mwah, mwah. Love you all, and I will see you guys in the next video.